uh, diabetes and its uh, relation with family. So uh, first of all, I'd like to say uh, three or well, main three types of diabetes. That is type one, type two, and GDM. So if you see type one, it's mostly it's autoimmune. They say that because of the uh, autoimmunity, the uh, patient is insulin dependent. Type two is it can be hereditary or due to lifestyle changes. People normally end up having type two. And GDM is gestational diabetes, which is occurs during pregnancy. So people always ask regarding how is the relation with diabetes and uh, the family, whether all family history of diabetes will end up having diabetes later. So only uh, thing is to prevent diabetes even though you have family history is to have a good lifestyle modification and follow the medication if you are proven diabetic. So one of the most common and it's a increasing percentage of GDM which I'll be discussing that is gestation diabetes. Diabetes in women. So everybody asks why do people get uh, um, um, diabetes during pregnancy? It's mainly because of the stress uh, released, and you have to control that. If that is not controlled, then then uh, the women land up having gestation diabetes. Uh, so it mainly, if the family history, the patient is having family history of diabetes, I would like to ask the, those high risk patients to screen uh, immediately once they confirm the pregnancy. Or if they are planning for pregnancy, if the high risk is already there, they must, con uh, they must have a good diet, follow a good lifestyle, have a good HbA1c and then plan for pregnancy for a good success. So GDM, um, why we look into it is a lot of complications are associated with it. So like congenital anomalies and all. So control of glycemic uh, uh, control is very important in these ladies. After post, I mean after the delivery, it's a little worrisome because women just leave it, they don't take care of their health. So this may lead to other complications of diabetes as you all know like heart, heart diseases can be associated, uh, retinal damage at this, uh, which also leads to blindness. So women in diabetes has to be looked into a greater concept um, so that the betterment of uh, diabetes is under control and for a better environment. Today I'll be talking about the challenges that's faced by the patients with diabetes. So one main thing is medication and the follow-up. So normally when we always write before I write my prescription, I normally write about diet and exercise, which has to be from the patient side. Next is the medications. So how regularly they're supposed to take. I just spend extra five minutes with the patients to explain what medicines they are taking. It's just not that jotting down the medication and then ask them to come for the review. Especially patients who are on insulin, normally I tell them to uh, have a glucometer at home and monitor the blood sugar so that they are aware whether they are going for a low sugar, how to handle low sugars at home. Um, unless and until it's an emergency, they land up in the hospital. And uh, we need to explain the insulin sites and insulin techniques, how they have to use, how many times they have to take the pricks. And and when they need to change the needle and what are the dosages, whether they are taking the right dosage at the right time. And apart from this, we need to have a physician uh, consultant, like physician assistant who will call them up for the regular follow-ups. So like if it's like little patient, this elderly patient, I, I think the family support also very important at this point. So, so that we can enhance the glycemic control, I mean bring down the glycemic control and help them in supporting in the future. Today I'll be discussing about lifestyle management in diabetes. So lifestyle is having two arms, one is diet and exercise. So diet, we need to explain to the patient in a very comfortable manner. Every patient is different, we need to have a customized uh, uh, food pattern for them. So we need to start off slowly by telling them uh, to have whole grains and I normally include a lot of fruits also if their glycemic control is good. It's something like being diabetic you should not take fruits. Seasonal fruits are definitely advised, again portion size is very important and then high fiber in their diet and uh, normally I tell them to take fruits in, as a whole not in juice form and then whole grains and then low carb in, uh, in fat, low fat is also advised 
if you look into the uh, other arm that is exercise i asked them to start slowly rather than asking them to go for one hour walking and then they don't follow it up regularly so start with 20 minutes of exercise maybe 10 minutes per on the morning and 10 minutes in the evening to start off with is a good idea it can be in any any sort of exercise to whichever is comfortable for the patient start slowly like physical exercises or any yoga practices which will suit the patient and then go ahead so these two arms which has been uh, looked into carefully will help definitely in managing of diabetes